Maximo. So today it is my pleasure to introduce our special guest. We have with us today Jimmy Hart, Mouth of the South. We have with us Dante Brown, and we have with us Steve the Freak Chamberlain. We have some great speakers today, and I know you are going to be cooperative, respectful, and responsible. Give me five. Let me introduce our first guest, Jimmy Hart, Mouth of the South. Whoa. Oh, thank you guys. First of all, you've got to bear with me. I, have, um, I haven't got a cold, so I'm not sick, but I lost my voice this past week. Um, I work with Hulk Hogan. How many know the Hulkster, huh? Yeah, a lot of you. Great. And he's got a brand new restaurant that's open, and I've been kind of the, uh, not the hostess, but I guess I'm kind of the uh, ambassador down there, and I think that's a better word for me. So by meeting and greeting the people every night, signing autographs and saying hello to them, which I love doing, I, I lost my voice, so I'm going to try to do a good job for y'all today. We've got some great people behind the curtain we're going to bring out. First of all, we want to say hello to Miss Canfield. Thank you for setting this up. Let's give her a nice round of applause. Thank you. But uh, let me just give you a small background on myself. How many people watch the WWE on TV? Wow. All right. Any uh, John Cena fans? Ray Mysterio? Brock Lesnar? Oh, you Brock Lesnar fan. What about Ryback, huh? Oh, I, you know what? That's pretty cool. Well, the company, WWE, is a company that I worked for, for and still work for off and on for about 20-something uh, years. You know, coming up in New York this year, it's going to be WrestleMania 29, which is going to be great. But I go out and do Make-A-Wish campaigns for them, and I also appear sometimes on TV. The last time we were on TV, it was Blast from the Past, when Mick Foley stuck Mr. Socko down my throat. Matter of fact, that's probably why I've got a sore throat now, is from Mick Foley's dirty sock about six months ago. But, um, but um, I've managed some of the names in wrestling. I don't know if you remember of them or not, but uh, the Honky Tonk Man, the Hart Foundation, which is Bret Hart, of course. And we wrote a lot of theme music, like Shawn Michaels theme music and Rey Mysterio's, just to mention a few. But we're here today to talk about bullying, okay? How many people out here it's felt like you've kind of been bullied a little bit. Well, we're going to talk to you guys in a few minutes because I think Ms. Canfield is going to let us do some question and answers maybe. And we'll get a mic out there with you. We'll have one on the stage or however we have to do it. But uh, we're kind of interested to see how you guys have been bullied. But uh, a couple of the, the, the points here that we want to talk about that Ms. Canfield gave me. And uh, it's very simple. And if everybody will kind of apply to these rules, it's really going to help everybody out. And the number one rule, of course, is we will not bully other people. You don't need to go around pushing anybody around. You might be bigger than them. You know, you might be taller than them. And uh, I, I want to say that you're not really maybe smarter than them. So sometimes we think that we might be smarter than other people. But you can always learn so many things by listening sometimes instead of talking. That's been my big problem my whole life is not listening and trying to talk too much. But uh, the second thing is... We'll try to help other students that are being bullied, okay? So if you see somebody that's being bullied, you know, you don't have to get involved too much, but you might go to the person who's bullying them and say, hey, cut them some slack. You know, this guy's a good guy, this girl's a good girl, and try to, try to be a little patient with them and get them on your team, okay? Number three, we will try to include other uh, students, of course, who have been left out. If you see somebody that y'all are choosing up members to have a basketball game or a softball game or, or maybe have a dodgeball or, or even volleyball or anything, if somebody's sitting over there and they've kind of not been chosen to be in the game, hey, talk to your captain of the team. Talk to your other teammates and say, you know what, let's get them involved with us too. That way nobody's left out. You think that's pretty good, right, huh? I do too. And of course, last but not least, if you see somebody that's bullied, run to get an adult talk to them about it so they can come back and, and maybe talk to the person that, that's bullying the people and, and try to help them out. But uh, I'm going to bring out a few guests that we have with us right now, okay? And when we bring them out, I want you to really put your hands together and give them a nice round of applause. 